All right, so um, today I'm going to show you how to use LM sensors to monitor CPU temperature in Ubuntu Linux. So, um, you know, first thing I'm going to install LM sensors, the LM sensors package. So let's see here, and here I go. I'm, you know, I'm making it bigger so you can actually uh, see what I'm doing. And there we go. Type in my password, and there we go. We're, we're installing the package, and I believe, so I'm recording the audio after the fact, but I am going to, uh, and there we go, just run the sensors command. Once you have it installed, you can run the sensors command, and you can see the temperature of all the cores. Now you notice some cores in my CPU are a different temperature than some of the other cores, which is kind of neat that you can see that, and it shows you like the higher, the critical range. So 100 degrees Celsius is critical, and 86 is considered high. And we're, we're running on average like 29 to, well, the range is 29 to 32, basically, um, for my course. So we're doing pretty well. Now, we see here, I just logged into, I'm log, I opened another terminal, logged into another system, and I am going to, I'm going to do the same thing on this system that I'm logging into. So the first system, that first terminal, is me logged into my desktop workstation, which run, I run Ubuntu on. But this next one is my, uh, and it turned, this, this next one is my NAS, and it turned out that the uh, name server was not configured on my NAS. So I'm doing some quick uh, troubleshooting to fix this before I continue ahead and actually install the package and run the same thing on my NAS. So, um, and there, there, I'm, I'm misconfiguring this, so you, you're going to see it fail again. And I am going to fix it by actually using the correct syntax in just a minute. But um, I think I'm actually going to check the, uh, did, did I get it fixed? No, I, I did not. I don't know why I'm trying this before I got it fixed. Yeah, so it's, it's not working. And um, it's funny watching myself do this after the fact. So um, testing, you know, if I can do a DNS lookup, I don't know why I, I can see it obviously doesn't work. I don't know why I didn't see how I messed that up. Um, and this is totally not related to, uh, totally not related to, you know, checking the temperature with LM sensors. This is just me troubleshooting connectivity on my NAS, which my NAS generally doesn't need to get to the internet. So you can see it's not blocked by the firewall. Um, and we can't reach Google and we can't look up Google either. So there's that. So none of that's going to work. Now I'm going to look here and realize what I did wrong. So, um, let's see here. Yeah. So I, I, I messed, I messed up the syntax on there. So I, it needs to say name server, name server. And then the eight, you know, the, the four eights, that's Google's uh, DNS server. So put that in and I'm, my, there we go. Now it works. So that, that means I'm going to do all my DNS resolution fr through Google's DNS servers, which I would highly recommend because they tend to not block things the way your ISP usually will. A lot of times ISPs will block things or just, you know, they, they won't resolve things that should resolve in, in a way to kind of, you know, it, it kind of sort of blocks you from getting access to things unless you know what's going on. So anyways, um, here we go. I am... I, you know, I do a sudo apt install lm-sensors, and now I have sensors on my NAS. And you'll notice that, the first thing you'll notice is that the, the cores, it has fewer cores, and they're running at, you know, anywhere from 71 to 75 degrees, which is terrible. I mean, it's actually, it's funny, it's not even considered high, but um, it's not considered high and definitely not considered critical, but it's, it's, it is, you can see it's a lot hotter than my desktop is running. And the CPU is not even busy on my NAS. The CPU is doing almost nothing on my NAS because I'm, I'm logged into it remotely through SSH and I'm not accessing files or doing anything. So, um, so, so yeah, so it's, it's, it's basically like my, my desktop is way lower in temperature. So something's very wrong. And I happen to know ahead of time what's wrong. Um, the, the, basically the heat sink on my CPU is, um, it's, it's, it's basically, uh, it came loose. So it's, it's almost like it's running without a heat sink. And so I need to go ahead and replace that, which I, you're, you're, you're going to watch me do that. Um, this is either going to be part of, uh, 
This is either going to be a video by itself or a, I'm actually going to make this a video by itself, just showing you how to use LM sensors, but I'm also probably going to incorporate this video into my larger video of me, um, you know, replacing the, the heat sink on my NAS and on my backup NAS. So this is going to be a part of a larger video too. So um, you, you might be watching this clip on either one of those two videos. So anyways, if you found this useful or interesting, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, question, criticism, anything you want to say in the comments down below. Um, hit the subscribe button for more awesome content or, or more likely even better content than this for sure. And um, hit the little bell icon so you're notified when a new uh, video comes out. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.